practice, and the only thing that the shooter will have to go by is the sound of footsteps. Can I hear a test of that? <laughs> With the fake footstep audio coming from a speaker attached to the target, <laughs> I can kind of hear it go. The setup is complete. In theory, I thought this would be pretty cool. In practice, it's far cooler. What do you think, one shot this time, or how about three shots? Yeah, let's up the ante. OK, cool. All right, so are you ready? I'm ready. You're wondering how we're going to do a test about hearing for footsteps when we're wearing hearing protection to protect ourselves from the sound of the gun going off. Excellent. Sounds loud and clear. Okay. These earmuffs I use are military grade, and they have a really cool feature, actual microphones that play sound into the muff so I can hear stuff in the world until a gunshot happens, and then they cut out to protect me from the loud sounds. Also, it's two separate sound chips, one on the right, one on the left. I actually can fully triangulate while wearing these, so that's what we'll be wearing for this test. Oh, what's that over there? I must admit, I'm a little surprised that both Jamie and I got successful kill shots on the first test. Ha! <laughs> a perfect hit! But on the second one, I personally think it's gonna be a lot harder to triangulate the sound of footsteps behind a barrier. Count me in, sir. I'm giving myself only a 20% chance of actually hitting this thing. Three, two, one. Let's see if I hit him. Adam acoustically and intuitively tuned in to his target's tread and took him out. Oh, looks like you got him. No way. Oh, no, I'm no. sorry. Or not. No, that was there before. That was, was from that? this, yes. Oh, Adam missed. He survived this time, Savage. And you'll notice that he clustered three of his shots in one small area. I'm not so sure that's the best approach. If I were doing this, which I'm about to, I'm ready. I think I'd be inclined to do a sweep across an area to try and bracket in the sound, because we can hear the sounds, but pinpointing it, not so much. Despite the benefit of being able to adapt his tactics. You yeah. missed him. Yeah. Entirely. Jamie missed as well. So, while you can easily shoot through a wall, the real-world detail of the prey's unpredictable position makes hitting a moving target tough. And this myth is on the ropes. So what do you think? Have we answered the question of shooting people on the other side of walls and how easy it is? Well, mechanical moving targets are all well and good, but I don't think there's any substitute for the real thing. I think we ought to shoot at each other. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> how, uh... Not with real guns, right? Well, OK. Paintball guns. Paintball guns. OK, I think we could do that test. A new test, a new day, and a new location for a spot of Hitman elimination. Morning. Morning. Shall we get to work? Yeah, let's do it. We have brought you to an abandoned machine shop in Mare Island, California, to put all the disparate elements of this story back together for a nice, violent, fun-filled, family-friendly finale. So it's time we ramp things up and use live 